Hi everyone, it's Melissa here to do a spread in my classic horizontal daydreamer planner. I decided to use this week these Carlton card stickers that I found at Target. I actually had to go to two different Targets to find these stickers. I'm Canadian, so I had to travel south in order to find them, but they were totally worth the trip. The Target near me did not have the stickers, but as we drove further down south, we saw another Target and I decided to check it out and they had them. So they're actually found in the card section. They're Carlton card branded stickers and they're a little bit on the pricier side. They're roughly $3 for this sticker sheet. So not something that I would necessarily buy, but I have seen so many planners using them. So I decided to give it a go. I was trying to think about what color scheme to use for these flowers. And I decided to go with yellow because it felt really springy. So I thought that I would keep the florals really the only color. And I would just use the rainbow sticker books to just build a yellow spread around the pink floral stickers that I found from Target. I actually also found some more yellow stickers in the new productivity sticker pack. And I like the more mustardy yellow. I thought that that would go better with the florals. So I was hoping to find more of those, but I only found a few. But I still think they'll add a lot of depth so that it's not just one shade of yellow that I can find in the rainbow sticker pack. And as you can see, I'm constantly lifting up my stickers. I'm trying to get everything straight, even though it probably is straight. It just didn't look right when I was looking at it close up. That's why I am wanting to lift and repeal. I really like that big Aaron sticker from the big rainbow sticker pack. I decided to use that since I know I've been away on vacation the previous week, so I figured I would lots have lots of things to do on Monday. I wanted to use this cute quote sticker book from again from the rainbow pack. Now I don't normally like to have the two Aaron stickers side by side, but I think it'll be okay um, both on the same page. I actually think they look nice with each other. So I wanted to make sure to kind of keep the pink on both sides of each page. So I noticed that it's very heavy on the right. So later on, I'm going to balance that by adding some more stickers to the left. And as you can see, these are the more mustard yellow that I, stickers that I found in the productivity sticker pack. Now, I usually like to just lift the stickers with my fingers, but I do find that for the smaller stickers, it's actually really convenient to be using a pair of tweezers. I should get in the habit of using them more often in general, but I find that I just want to use my fingers to lift the stickers up. And I wanted to keep mixing the different yellow hues so that um, it would provide a little bit of texture in the spread. So it's not just one flat shade of yellow. I really like to add bullet points and I know I'm going to be using black pen. So I would be incorporating the black underneath the get it done sticker because I would be using black ink. I should try to use more colored inks in my planner, but I find I usually gravitate and I write very neat in my Muji 0.38 millimeter black pen. Now is the time that I'm going to cut up some floral stickers in half and have them peeking out from boxes. I really love the look of this, so I find myself, I usually do this every single week. And I figured, errands would not be enough. I, I'm going to need a big checklist of things to do on Monday. I think it's okay that it's hanging off the day like that. I actually don't mind that. I think it provides interest to the page. Now it's time for me to balance all that pink on the left hand side of my spread. So I decide that I'm going to cut up some florals and then stick them on that left upper hand corner to try to balance the explosion of florals on the same page on the bottom right hand corner. Now I think I'm going to need some more stickers because it still feels very pink, although I really love that cluster of florals on the right hand side upper corner. I just think it looks so cute and springy and I couldn't help myself. I just kept on adding more and more floral stickers. Now I know I should probably use some restraint and hold back on some of, some of these stickers for another week, but confessions time, I totally bought two sticker packs. I got a Target gift card from my aunt, so I totally bought two of these stickers, and I actually bought one for my best friend. I just love florals so much, and I'm really glad that I didn't pair these pink flowers with more pink boxes or other pink functional stickers. I really like how they ended up looking with the yellow. 
the left side of my spread still felt a bit empty, so I decided to add one more teeny tiny floral to try to balance it out some more. Now the spread probably didn't need that quote on the right hand side, but I think I'm going to need something motivational to get me through daylight savings time. If you like this video, please click like and don't forget to subscribe.